day everyone, Mr. Cardinal here with our next AutoCAD video. In this video we are going to be looking at staircase and staircase dimensions and calculations. How you go about determining the, um, how do you determine the different lengths and sizes for different parts of a staircase? How do you go about doing those calculations? Now, when it comes to the staircase calculations, we are concerned, we are mostly concerned about four parts or aspects of the staircase. Those parts are the riser, and the riser is the vertical distance of each individual step. Each step will have the a riser and a tread. Alright? So the horizontal part of the stairs is a of the step, sorry, is a tread and then the vertical part is a riser okay so vertical riser horizontal tread next two parts that we are concerned about those would be the run and the rise now the run that is the total distance of all the treads combined all right or you could also say the total horizontal distance of the entire staircase Alright, so the run would be from this point here to where the stairs end, right up here. And as you can see, that would be the total um, length or, or distance of all the treads combined. So like, it would be this tread plus that tread plus that one, that one, that one. That would give us the total run. Okay? And then the rise now is the vertical distance of the entire staircase. Okay? Or we could say it is the total distance of all the risers combined. So like here, this is this riser plus that riser plus that one plus that one plus that plus that plus that give us the entire rise. All right. So the rise, the total vertical distance of the staircase, the run, the total horizontal distance. All right. So now that we know about the rise and the run, when it comes to the staircase calculations, they are as follows. No, the treads are also sometimes referred to as going, as like a going, all right? So it says the going or a tread plus the height of two risers must be the maximum of 700 millimeters and a minimum of 550 millimeters. So let me explain what this means. This is saying that for the staircase to be um, a comfortable place or have a comfortable dimensions so that it is not too steep and as well not too long then um, the distance or the length or the measurement for two risers plus one tread or going is should not be more than 700 millimeters or less than 550 millimeters so let me explain even further so what that means is that right here where we have this um we have a riser here and then a tread also referred to as a going and then a next riser so what that formula is saying is that one tread plus two risers so this riser plus that tread plus this riser so now we have two risers and one tread when we add up all those lengths or all those measurements that should not be more than 700 millimeters and it shouldn't be less than 500 millimeters or 550 the reason for that is this you don't want it to be too steep and you don't want it to be too long where it takes some more space than it needs to you just want a nice incline all right so that is the formula you don't want two risers plus one tread or one going to be more than 700 millimeters or less than 550 all right so yeah so that's what we mean by that okay so now the calculations are here it says to ensure that stairs are not steeper than 42 degrees which is the comfortable um distance the comfortable incline the relationship between the rise and the going must be as follows all right if the rise is between 155 to 220 then the going or the tread should be between 245 to 260 Riser is 165 to 200, then the going should be anywhere from 220 to 305. Alright, now for this, you don't really have to remember this right now. 
it will help you in your calculations but i'm going to show you how you can go about um or you can go about understanding this a lot yeah all right so i hope i would not have lost anyone thus far in the video all right so what i'm going to do is to show you how we actually go about calculating the staircases so i gave you a formula and i also told you about the trend the riser the rise and the run so let's make sense of all that now here it says that when you're calculating the staircase dimensions there are a number of actions all right steps one through two seven all right so the first thing that you'll be given is you'll be given a rise and a run all right so the rise is the total um vertical distance of the staircase and the run is the total horizontal distance now in most cases the run will be sorry the rise will be 3000 millimeters the reason for it being 3000 millimeters is that the rise would be the total vertical distance from one floor to our next floor and uh, usually this would be uh, about 10 feet which is roughly 3000 millimeters all right so let's say that you are given a rise of 3000 millimeters all right and then you are given a run of say 2760 millimeters as is given right here okay it says the first step the first thing you're going to do is to divide the vertical rise by the riser height to find the number of risers so let me just repeat that it says divide the vertical rise remember the rise the total vertical distance by the riser height to find the number of risers okay so right here this person or in this example sorry this example the 2760 is divided by 190 now the question is going to be where did this 190 come from no as i said before the vertical rise is normally 3000 all right and then the run for a typical staircase especially like a residential building or so is going to be anywhere between uh, two seven to like three thousand all right so it's always going to be somewhere within that range now given that range the number of risers that you would normally um, be able to have in such a staircase would be anywhere between 13 to like 16 all right 13 to 16 sometimes it might vary to 12 or to 17 but no further than that so given that and knowing that all right then you would want to divide your run by a number that would give you something that would be anywhere from like 13 to 16 and in this case the person divided by 190 and that gave them 14.52 okay so let me just repeat what i said the rise we're given the rise and we're given the run and we're trying to calculate the um we're trying to calculate the riser height and also the height for and the length for the tread okay so given the 2760 and then it was divided by 90 because the first step is to divide the vertical rise by the riser height we don't know the riser height yet right so this first so what we do here is just to try um a number see if it works so we, we divide by by 190 and why 190 instead of 290 390 or 180 as I explained you want to divide by a number that will give you an answer anywhere between 13 to 16 is normally safe all right when the vertical rise is 3000 so we did that so we divide 2760 by 190 and we get 14.52 for the risers and here it says try 14 risers all right because you can't have a 0.52 riser because you want everything to be um you want everything to it has to be a whole number because the steers it flows if one riser is shorter than the other risers then because when you're walking up a steers a flight of steers you're anticipating um each step it's like a rhythm if something if one riser is too high or lower than the others 
then you might fall because you're anticipating where your foot is going to land. All right. So it has to be a whole number. So they say no. Let's try fourteen and see if fourteen risers work. All right. So we say okay. Let's try fourteen. So then we move on to step two. It says find the exact riser height by dividing the vertical rise by the number of risers. Let me repeat that. It says. Find the exact riser height by dividing the vertical rise by the number of risers. So now we're saying that we're going to use um, 14. Okay. We're saying here that we are going to use 14 here. So it says that we're going to divide 2760 by 14. Okay. Now, in this case, the vertical rise isn't 3,000, it's 2,760. And the reason it's 2,760 here, that would still be like 10 feet. But it's about calculating from um, millimeters to inches. Sometimes we use 25 and just round it off at 25 and say, all right, 25 millimeters make an inch. But it's actually 23 and a quarter. All right, and we just run it off to 25. All right, so if you use 23 and a quarter, you'll get 276 or somewhere in that range. All right, so in this case, the riser, the total rise, sorry, is 2760 instead of um 3000, which is still roughly 10 feet. So, here in step two, it says that we are supposed to find the exact riser height by dividing the vertical rise by the number of risers. So that's 2760, which is the total vertical um, rise divided by 14. Why 14? Because we're using 14 risers. All right, and that gives us 197.14. So the exact um, height for each riser is 1907.14. So let me show you that over. So what that is saying, therefore, is that for this right here. Okay. Yeah, for this here. The each riser, each one of these would be 197.14. And the total rise here is 2760. Alright. Good. So we have that. No. Back of this. It says that the third thing that we're going to do now is to find the going to suit the desired staircase length. So we need to find the going or the um, you know the length of each tread to fit the desired um, staircase length. So we are given a run of like three thousand. Sorry, three thousand. Right. So. We're given 3,000, we divide that by 13. The question is going to be, why 13? And the answer is this. You will always have one more riser than tread. Why? Because the staircase starts with a riser. All right? So the staircase starts here with a riser and then a tread. So it starts with a riser and ends with a riser. It doesn't end with a tread. This right here is the landing, which is, not, which is technically not a tread. It's the landing. All right. If if this if it was a like a staircase that had a turn, then the landing would be calculated as a tread. But because this is just a steer a straight flight staircase, then this right here is just the landing. They will always have one more riser than tread. All right, because it starts with a riser. So with that said, we know that we are using fourteen risers. So being that we are using fourteen risers, and we know that there will always be one more um, riser than treads then of course we're going to use 13 treads because that's one less than 14 all right so we divide the 3000 by 13 and the 3000 will be as i said you'll be, be given the um rise and the run if you're not given the run you will be given the rise and then you can determine a, a run that will be suitable for that and then you Work out the risers and also the um work out the risers and the treads. So we divide three thousand by thirteen, we get two hundred and thirty-one. 
So this is the formula here. So use the formula 1 trader plus 2 risers. Remember, we had said that for the formula right here, it states that 1 trader plus 2 risers. Here it says 1 trader are the going plus the height of 2 risers must be maximum of 700 and minimum of 550 for it to be suitable. Alright, so it says use the formula 1 trader plus 2 risers to see if this design is compatible. So it's 231 plus 197.14 times 2. 231 is the length of each tread and then 197.14 is the height of each riser. So we divide that by 2, that equals to 625.28. 625.28 is workable because it falls in between the range of 550mm to 700mm. Alright, and given that we know that we can use those dimensions for our staircase and then step 5 says does the design come with the allowance limits it does come with the allowance limits because the allowance limits is between 700 millimeters to it's between 550 millimeters sorry, to 700 millimeters 625.28 falls perfectly in that range it says if yes use tear case with 14 risers all right, so we so we know that we have fourteen risers and two hundred and twenty two hundred and thirty one sorry millimeter going and one ninety seven point one four millimeter riser again going trade same thing and then number seven goes on to say if no and no here means that if the number that you get is lower than five fifty or higher than seven hundred then repeat from step two with fifteen risers all right so come back to step two and use fifteen instead of fourteen. Good. So use 15 instead of 14. So try a different number anywhere between, as I said, 13 and 16. See if that works. If this still doesn't fit, increase the staircase length and repeat from step 3. And then just keep on going like that until you find a number that is between um, 550 millimeters and 700 millimeters. Good. It is. It can be a bit technical, but I hope I simplified it well. I hope that you understand. Um, if not, you can just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will answer, I will reply. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. I really do hope you found it helpful. Good. And if you did find the video helpful, please drop a like and you can also subscribe. Um, when it comes to the staircase width, like the width of the staircase, the standard width of the staircase is normally 36 inches. Which is a, a good length for two people to pass side by side. So, sorry, side by side. All right. So yeah, that's not that's the, that's normally the width of the staircase. And then this is how we work out the um, dimensions for the tread and the riser. All right. So thanks for watching and do have yourselves a wonderful day.